Three, two, one. Hey guys, Rocco Sourdough Chef. Today we're making sourdough breadcrumbs from our very own, obviously, Rocco Pizza Sourdough. And let us show you a little bit more about that. Okay, sourdough breadcrumbs here that we roasted and toasted just to get that extra yummy crunchiness. Just finishing the last bits off of that. Now, you don't have to do that step, that's just us. Bear with me for a sec here. Just a food process at home, this is a uh, more commercial Robocoop, super fancy, yeah. well not super fancy, but you know what I mean, yeah. expensive and yeah. lots of power. Just breaking up some extra stuff, let's just show you that I had this one near the oven to dry it, okay. All of this is only being done, the drying, the oven baking, whatever, because this dough, this bread, this panina, whatever you want to call it, has just been baked today, right? You can see a little bit of steam coming off it. But the truth is, Day old, two days old, old stale bread in the fridge makes great breadcrumbs. Sourdough makes the best, best ones. And the only breadcrumbs that some of us with intolerances, for example, can eat. And most people should only eat sourdough anyway. So, let me show you how we zhuzh these and trick them up, because we're going to make a schnitzel. The miracle, wonderful garlic, oil, extra virgin, and parsley. That Kenny, who's behind the camera, so diligently makes. Is that right, Kenny? That's correct, yeah. Right? Ample, lots of that. This becomes a little bit wet. It becomes a beautiful um, uh, paste almost with breadcrumbs that you then just pat onto your meat so you don't need to fry it. So, this is a no fry recipe. Some extra parsley, freshness, a little bit of salt. I won't put too much salt because in a sec you'll see I'm going to trick it up a little bit more with little swimming anchovies. Okay, so at this stage, I won't put them in, I'll just tell you. This is it, this is all you need. That's a beautiful crumb, ready to go. You can crumb anything. Chicken nuggets for the kids, anything you want. This is just a beautiful product, you'll see. We'll crumb a schnitzel either today or tomorrow. Beautiful. Let's go crazy though. A little bit of anchovies. What's that, five? Put them, don't put them, doesn't matter. Just for the sake of being crazy with extra Mediterranean flavors. A couple of capers, why not? Again, leave it all off, put it in, it doesn't matter. What it does need is a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic, I reckon, and olive oil, definitely, to make it a nice and moist paste. Black pepper, I like it, put it, don't put it. Chili even if you want. You'll see how versatile this um, sourdough breadcrumb paste is. And just for a little bit of tang and acidity. <laughs> uh, here we go. Now, natural vinegar, apple cider with the mother. A little splash of that. Okay. I think we're good. I think I've got everything in that I ever dreamt and hoped for. And... It's gonna be so tasty. Do you want to have some, Kenny? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. One thing to do now. This is the meat that we got just delivered from our butcher, Rocco, Glen Eagles Butcher. 
amazing. Fresh meat. Sorry to the non-meat eaters. One tenderized steak cut by hand. Literally, dab all of that goodness on, make it stick. Okay? You can add more oil if you want when you're making this mixture, but this is all you need. I promise you, it's amazing. Okay? Now, I'm going to reach back into the oven and get my cast iron pan that I've been heating. Giannis has that uh, close by. Can you see me here, Kenny? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's one. Woo! That's one hot pan. Okay. You can, of course, pre make these. Put one on top of the other, leave them in the fridge, let them set a little longer. Obviously, we're trying to make this fast and furious so we can show you. And there it is. What do you think, Kenny? You're a looks, South African. Looks amazing. Machine. Giannis? <coughs> Already smells good. Already oh. smells good. Let's get this puppy back in. And we'll be back. Just give us a few minutes. It's a hot oven. That's best for stands after many years of this stuff. Okay. Can you hear that sizzle? Oh yeah. What do you think, Kenneth? Oh, amazing. Not fried, beautifully crumbed. Of course, I had a stencil in a pub the other day, and the only thing I can say to you is it wasn't moist. It was a deep fried, very thin piece of uh, beef, and I just didn't enjoy it. It was uh, old fashioned shoe leather, whatever it's called. Uh, so, no. Now, this I think is an amazing crust, all sourdough, so. All of those with the intolerances, wheat, fructan, low FODMAP, the usual things. Um, no added sugar, so diabetics, pre-diabetics, like me, no problems at all. Shall we have a little looky-see? Let's move this. I don't know, what do you think, Kenneth? Is it ready? Yeah. In my opinion, that's perfect. That's how you want it? Oh yeah. You want to have a little taste? Because I'm going to have a taste. I'm destroying it, I don't have the proper knife for it, but it's enough for me and you to have a little... Oh, that's good, man. Are you still taping? Yep. Okay. You honest? Mm-hmm. Mm. Good? Brilliant. Obviously it has to set and whatever. We're, we're in a hurry here. We're just trying to make the concept of where, you know, where this happened here. And, but it does. It's, it's beautiful. Lots of flavour. Losing half the stuff here. Using the wrong knife. Here you It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Come down, try it when it's on the menu. And this is a part of the experience we're doing for San Rocco Salada, which is opening on Grange Road in a month and a half. That would do love to everybody. Bye.